Welcome to the rise and fall of the golden age of Hollywood. In this video, we will take you on a journey through the birth, growth and decline of one of the most significant periods in the history of cinema. Join us as we reflect on the legacy of this era and its lasting impact on the film industry and American culture. In the early 1900s, the film industry was just starting to take off in America. It wasn't until the early 1910s that filmmakers started moving to the West Coast, specifically to the Hollywood, California. Hollywood offered a mild climate, diverse landscape, and easy access to a variety of shooting locations. By the 1920s, Hollywood had become the center of the film industry, with several major studios and hundreds of smaller ones. In the 1920s and 1930s, the major studios like MGM, Warner Brothers and Paramount Pictures were in full swing. The studio system was a way for the studios to control every aspect of the filmmaking process, from scriptwriting to distribution. They signed actors to long-term contracts, creating the concept of a studio star. The studio system allowed for a high degree of control over the final product, resulting in consistent quality and profits for the studios. The 1930s were a difficult time for America due to the Great Depression. However, the film industry was largely unaffected, as people sought an escape from the realities of their everyday lives. Movies were inexpensive and offered a form of entertainment that could transport viewers to a different world for a few hours. Hollywood responded to this demand by producing some of the most iconic films of all time, such as Gone with the Wind, The Wizard of Oz, and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The 1940s brought another challenge for Hollywood, as World War II meant that many actors and filmmakers were drafted or volunteered for military service. Despite this, the film industry continued to produce successful movies like Casablanca and It's a Wonderful Life. However, in the 1950s, a new form of entertainment emerged that would eventually threaten Hollywood's dominance, television. As more and more households purchased TVs, movie attendance declined. In the 1950s, Hollywood faced another challenge in the form of the Red Scare. The House Un-American Activities Committee, CHUAC, investigated alleged communist influence in Hollywood, resulting in the blacklisting of several prominent writers, directors and actors. This led to a decline in creativity and innovation, as studios played it safe and avoided controversial topics. Additionally, the Supreme Court ruling in 1948 that forced the studios to divest their theater chains made it harder for the studios to control distribution and make profits. By the 1960s, Hollywood was in decline. The studio system had broken down and audiences were increasingly turning to television for their entertainment. The rise of independent filmmaking and foreign cinema challenged Hollywood's dominance. The introduction of the rating system in 1968 allowed for more creative freedom, but also led to more explicit content that turned off some viewers. The 1970s saw a brief resurgence of Hollywood, with movies like The Godfather and Jaws, but the golden age had come to an end. Despite its decline, the golden age of Hollywood left a lasting legacy. The studio system created a stable industry that produced some of the most iconic films of all time. The concept of a movie star still exists today, and many of the techniques and technologies developed during this era continue to influence modern filmmaking. The films of the Golden Age also provide a window into American culture and history, capturing the hopes, fears and dreams of the people of that time. They remind us of a bygone era, a time when going to the movies was a special event, when films were events that brought communities together. They were stories that people could relate to, that offered inspiration and hope, and that helped us make sense of a changing world. Furthermore, the golden age of Hollywood helped to shape the way films are marketed and distributed today. The emphasis on blockbuster films and global box office success can be traced back to this era. The Hollywood Walk of Fame, which honors the contributions of actors, directors, and other film professionals, is also a reminder of the impact of the Golden Age. 
But the legacy of the Golden Age is not just limited to Hollywood. Its impact can be felt in the countless films, TV shows and other forms of entertainment that continue to draw inspiration from this era. The glamour, the drama, the larger-than-life characters and stories, all of these have become part of our cultural DNA. In conclusion, while the golden age of Hollywood may have come to an end, its impact on the film industry and American culture cannot be denied. From the birth of Hollywood in the early 1900s, to the decline of the studio system in the 1950s and 1960s, the golden age of Hollywood remains a significant chapter in the history of cinema. It was a time of innovation, creativity, and artistic expression, and it continues to inspire and captivate us to this day.